It was the turn of the Uganda Law Society where the president and some of the officials stand up before the Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee where the committee is collecting views regarding the current controversial bill in parliament. President of Uganda Law Society James Sebugenyi noted that the bill would be needed since public order is needed. He, however, criticized most of the clauses in the bill, arguing that it would give more powers to the Inspector General of Police and it's not fair to the public. In its current state, the bill places numerous extensive and impractical obligations on the organizers of public meetings, which are impossible. They also argued that it authorizes the police to use excessive force and curtails freedom of speech. We have a setback for human rights by restricting the inherent civil and political rights of Ugandans and impeding the operations of political parties. The government maintains the main objective of the bill is to streamline the maintenance of public order, protect the public and to create peace and security. The Law Society recommended that the bill should be drafted in compliance with human rights as stipulated in the Constitution, that views of stakeholders be considered and implemented. The powers of the line minister and the IGP should be regulated to avoid abuse of the said powers, that the police should focus on legitimacy. Later this afternoon, appearing before the committee was Minister of Defense Dr. Crespas Kiyonga, who supported the bill. But some lawmakers, however, were quick to point fingers at the army who in the past have been implicated in human rights abuses while quelling demonstrations. In balancing these interests of the larger public and the rights of the demonstrators, I think it's necessary to restrict certain areas so that these are not available for demonstrations. Otherwise, ordinarily, they will be available to the citizens of the country. All that the public waits to see is the recommendations that the committee shall come up with since most of the stakeholders that have been invited into this committee are all criticizing the bill. Maurice Ochoa, NTV.